guys, it's Alexa, and before I start this video, I do want to let you know that yes, I know my lips are really chapped. It's really dry and really cold here. Just want to get that out of the way. That being said, let's jump into the video. Hey guys, it's Alexa, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite skincare products. As you guys know, I do have acne. I am not afraid of my acne at all. It's something everyone, or almost everyone, experiences, and there's no reason to hide it with makeup unless you're going to like a special event and you really want to. I would rather let my face breathe. My skin has gotten so much clearer lately because I've really been on top of it and I've really been sticking to a skincare routine that works for me. So basically this is going to be a mix between my skincare routine and favorite skincare products. I have broken it down into five or six categories. You're going to notice that most of the products I use are from Clean and Clear. This is not being sponsored by Clean and Clear whatsoever. I have talked about it in the past but I like to stick with one or two brands to use for my skincare because I do have a tendency to break out with a lot of skincare products. The first category I'm going to start with is morning. In the morning, I like to use products that are gentle on my face because I use more vigorous products, I guess, at night. And so in the morning, I would rather have something more gentle on my face. In the morning, I just use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Facial Cleanser and it is oil free. I can't even begin to tell you how many of these I've gone through. I love this stuff. It's really gentle on your face and it does wake you up. I have noticed a big difference on the days when I don't use this versus the days I do. It's always good to moisturize your face no matter what after you use a cleanser, a facial wash, an exfoliant, anything skincare related that you use you should always moisturize after. I use the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer which is also oil free and I love this stuff. It smells so good. I do only use a little dab because a little dab goes a long way. So these two products are what I use in the morning. I try to use them every morning. Sometimes I do miss a morning because I've either woken up late or slept through my alarm. The next category is the products I use when I'm having a really bad breakout. Two Two of the products are from the Clean and Clear Advantage line and then one of them is just the Clean and Clear Essentials line. And keep in mind, all the rest of the products I'm going to show you are ones I use at night unless I say otherwise. So if I'm having a really bad breakout, I use the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control 3-in-1 Foaming Face Wash and it is oil free. I'm pretty sure all of Clean and Clear's products are oil free which is good. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love this. It's gentle enough on your face but it cleans it really well. After I use the cleanser, I always use an astringent. An astringent will really help your acne. So basically with an astringent all you do is you put it on a cotton ball and just put it all over your face. The astringent I use is the Cleaning Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Astringent. I definitely recommend using an astringent if you have acne. Astringents really dry out your face so it's really important to use a moisturizer after. So the moisturizer I use is the Cleaning Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. So this goes along with the facial cleanser. If you really wanted to you could skip the astringent and just use these two products together. They will work together really well but I do prefer using an astringent too. Moving on to the everyday category, I use two different products, but I don't use them together. I switch off every other day. The first one I use is the Clean and Clear Continuous Control Acne Cleanser, the daily formula one. I need to get a new one. It's gone. There's like maybe one use out of it. I use this like crazy. I absolutely love this. The number one thing that makes this one of my favorite products is that it's like a cream cleanser. I feel like it really lathers up on my skin and it's just a really good product. If I don't use use the Clean and Clear Continuous Control, then I use the Up and Up Apricot Scrub. This is the Target brand of the St. Ives Apricot Scrub. It does have a weird consistency and it's really gritty because it's meant to exfoliate. That's why I only use it every other day. I didn't really have a category for this next product. It's more of like if you're on the go and can't wash your face and do all that stuff product and it's the Noxema Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pads. I used to not be able to use Noxema because it used to break me out big time, but then a couple months months ago I decided to try it again and I'm really happy that I did because when I am on the go if I sleep in one day too late and I have to go somewhere like right then or I'm running late for school I can just open it up and then pull out one of the pads and then just scrub my face and it's amazing how much dirt and oil and grossness these things get off. The next category is my once a week category and that is because it is the PMD. If you guys have not heard of the PMD you guys are missing out. I am absolutely in love with my PMD. As you all know, I have acne. It used to be wicked bad. I do have really bad breakouts every once in a while because of stress, because of school, and just breakouts in general. This has made my acne so much better. It has removed so many of my acne scars. I will have a coupon code down in the description for you guys to use if you're interested in getting a PMD, as well as their website. I will show you guys a little demo in a minute, but I also have one last product to tell you guys about, and it is the Up and Up Deep Clean Facial Tone for sensitive 
sensitive skin. When you use the PMD, you need to use a toner afterwards because the PMD basically takes off the first layer of your skin. The toner will reclog the pores in a way that dirt can't get in, but that they can still breathe. I only use that once a week because you can only use the PMD once a week because it is really abrasive. I know I've talked about all 10 products, but I also wanted to mention that for makeup wipes, I use the Clean and Clear Makeup Dissolving Facial Cleansing Wipes. I didn't want to like include them as a facial skincare product because they're not really a skincare product. It's more of a makeup product. So now I'm going to move on to the demo and tell you a little bit about the PMD. When you open the box, you get the wall plug, the instruction manual, as well as a CD. I've already watched it. Make sure you do watch it before you use your PMD because it will help you as well as reading the directions. You will get a bunch of the little discs, the PMD itself, and an extra cap. There is a difference between the two caps. The cap with the skinny hole is for your face, and the other one is so you can use it on your body. I will talk more about it in a second. First, I want to talk about the discs. The disc that will come on the PMD itself is going to be a white disc, and this is the practice disc. Make sure you use this. When you first get your PMD, test it out right here on your neck or on your arm to see if you have a bad reaction. Obviously, if you have a bad reaction, don't use it. This is a one-time thing. After that, you don't need it. The skinny blue discs are for sensitive skin and to use on your face, and the green disc, which I have on right now, is also for your face, but it's the more abrasive one. Definitely start off with the blue one and then move to this once you feel comfortable. The skinny discs should be used with the skinny cap. The larger blue disc is for your body as well as the green one. Again, same thing. The blue one is for sensitive skin and you should start with it and then move on to the green one. The fatter discs are to be used with the wider cap. For this demo, I am going to be showing you how to use it on my arm because this is actually my second time filming this video because the first time, all the footage was messed up. I can't show you guys on my face because it hasn't been a week and it is important that you do wait a week between your PMD treatment. I don't think I said this, but PMD stands for personal microdermabrasion. Now I'm going to show you how you switch the caps and switch the discs. Right now, I have it on the disc for my face and I'm going to switch it out with the one for my body. The first thing, it's really easy. You just twist it off. Put it off to the side, take out the disc, put the new disc on, and twist the cap on. You do want to make sure that the disc sits in the actual PMD and not up above the cap. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about how you do it. You plug it in and you twist it so that it can't come out and obviously you turn it on. And so what you do is you pull it tight and you go upwards and you don't want to go over the same area more than twice. You do not want to go near your eyes because it's not good for your eyes. You're going to get wrinkles and it's not good for your eyes. So an easy way of explaining it is hold your skin tight go up go up and just move downwards or upwards doesn't matter just don't go over the same area more than twice so obviously on your arm you can't really hold the skin tight so what I like to do is I like to pull my wrist towards me because it makes it tighter okay this is what it sounds like it sounds scary, but trust me, it's not scary, and it doesn't hurt. I was worried it was going to hurt, and it doesn't. The first time you do it, it feels funny because it is suction. See? It's just suction. What you want to do is go up. So I'm just going to do a close-up on my other arm. So you turn it on. And you just go up. And it's that easy. It's really not that hard. And it takes me about five to 10 minutes to do it on my face once a week. When you are done using the PMD, all you wanna do is take off the cap, take off the disc, rinse the disc with warm water and antibacterial soap, as well as the filter. You can see the filter right here. All you have to do is go like this a couple times. And you just wanna rinse this. To finish it off, you want to take a cotton ball and take a toner and just put it all over the area you did. And then you wanna put on a moisturizer. It's really important to put on a moisturizer after using the PMD because it will dry out your skin and it does take that layer off so your skin really needs that moisture. I have seen dramatic results. I've been using this for a couple weeks and I definitely see a huge difference in my face. Like you guys may not see it but I do. I've seen scars basically disappear. I am having a breakout right now but that's because school just started. I've definitely over the past couple weeks I've definitely seen a difference and I honestly can truly say that the PMD has definitely made a difference in my life. I do want to say that everything in this video is honest. I would never lie to you guys about a problem product, especially for something like this because I know a lot of people are insecure about their acne. I'm not because there's no reason for me to. Everyone has acne. It's a fact of life. If you have acne, acne scarring, wrinkles, anything like that, I definitely recommend investing in the PMD. If you guys have used the PMD and seen results, let me know down below. I want to hear your story. Also, if you guys have other skincare products that you recommend that I try, whether it be for acne or just a cleanser or anything, let me know in the comments down below. And I 
will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!